Hello everyone and welcome to Sharp Dress Gaming and today we're back with some more Pokemon VGC 2016. This is the last episode with the Terracot team and that's also including Mega Steelix, Mega Rayquaza, Kyogre, and Chandelure. So if you guys have enjoyed this team be sure to hit that like button uh, on this video and uh, be sure to stick around for the entire video to see what we can do with this team for the final episode. If you guys are interested in using this team there is the stats, uh, all the EV spreads and stuff will be in the description below. I think I'm going to include that in all of my videos now, uh, just to save you guys some time for asking. But I do love seeing comments, so if you have any comments about this team or uh, suggestions for teams you'd like to see in the future, be sure to leave that in the comment section below. Others, we're going to hit the challenge button. We're going to see if we're going to find some people today. Bet a lot of Australians last time, so hopefully that means we're actually finding people we can face at the time. I mean, it's not pr it's not as late right now as it has been when I record, so. That's pretty nice. But yet, we still have problems finding trainers. So I hurt free. Got this big glowing orb right above my head. I actually am getting a new setup uh, for the... Let's see if I can grab it. I got a new computer. I'm not going to grab it right now. But I have to set it up after this. So, we'll be seeing some... I think this the webcam will be a little higher up, so it'll be facing more directly towards me instead of up like it is right now. Can we find somebody, please? Please? Pretty please? With sugar on top? I guess we're not gonna find anybody today. <sighs> I don't know what else to talk about, guys. Um, I did try making a team builder again for the next team, but unfortunately, my computer shut off halfway there. That's what led me to get in a new computer was that specifically can we are we not going to find a trainer um i guess i will come back once we find somebody guys sorry about this wait again oh we found somebody uh we got rj who is carrying togekiss landorus Kyogre, Thunderous, Feral Thorn, and Rayquaza. So he's got five flying types, which are all going to benefit from Rayquaza's Delta Stream. And he just really hates Kyogre, to be honest, so I think I'm going to lead Kyogre. And in doing so, I'm also going to bring Rayquaza. Where am I? Or am I? Actually, I could actually go Whimsicott Terrakion, I think, is a better lead. And then Kyogre in the back, and Rayquaza. Right? Do I want Steelix or Chandelure for anything? Not particularly, so that's what we're going to go with. I don't know that Chandelure... I think Chandelure's made an appearance on this series. I think he showed up in the first episode. Yeah, because we set up Trick Room in the first episode. So. Or the second one. Whichever one had Steelix as the picture, that was the first one. Um, so we got Whimsicott Terrakion, and I'm fixing my hair. Uh, versus Ferrothorn Kyogre. That's actually kind of perf. Pharaoh Kyogre. So I would think my opponent is going to Origin Pulse and Gyro Ball. But again, my opponent is also 1300 rated. Do I let... I'm going to let the Ferrothorn play around again. I'm going to beat up and rock slide. My big problem last time was not getting rid of the Ferrothorn, but I can't just leave the Kyogre alone either. It's too threatening. So we can get our Terrakion to plus four and then rock slide. Which is going to do a decent amount to both Pokemon and possibility of flinching as well. Oh, we crit ourselves. Daggummit. And I just remembered my phone is on silent, so I'm going to fix that right now. Oops, I just turned the Wi-Fi off. That's not what I wanted. So, Rock Slide. We missed the Ferrothorn. Are you kidding me? Well, it does one-hit KO the KOer, so that's cool. As long as he doesn't Gyro Ball my Terrakion, we're fine. Gyro Ball the Whimsicott. 
Should I hurt all the ones I caught? Yes! That's perfect. So now I can get rid of Feral Thorn next turn. Critical hit, doesn't matter. Does not matter. Whew! Okay. We should be fine now. He probably brings out Rayquaza here, I would assume. There's Rayquaza. He's going to have that airlock ability. So now I'm going to Tailwind. And we're going to close combat the Feral Thorn. We should outspeed your Rayquaza. Uh, normal Rayquaza. <coughs> and as long as he doesn't protect Feral Thorn, I think he won't just because he's a lower rated player. And typically, they don't protect as often as they should. But watch him protect. Nope, doesn't protect. So we get fe rid of Feral Thorn. Perfect. See ya. So we don't let Ferrothorn do more than it needs to by getting rid of it right away. He is going to Iron Barbs, possibly Rocky Helmet as well. Yep. Yep, yep. And Ferrothorn's going to faint. And what does Rayquaza want to do here? I'd assume it attra attacks the Terrakion. Dragon Ascent. I mean, it'll knock out whatever it hits, because Terrakion's at minus one. And at, like, 50%. Yep, he's going to hit Terrakion. That's fine. So he'll drop his defense and special defense, and then Terrakion's going to faint. Uh, Viscravi. And then I can bring out my own Rayquaza. He probably brings out his... No, his Kyogre's dead. But he brings out his Landorus. Attack will fall, but I do have Dragon Pulse, and he is at minus one. Uh, I got white herb. <laughs> um, so I'm going to beat up the Rayquaza in case it's Focus Sash, and then Mega Evolve and Dragon Pulse it as well. Um, this Landorus isn't going to be able to do a ton to us. It's going to extreme speed. Is that knock out my... No, he's going to extreme speed the Rayquaza of all things. So, Whimsicott will get its beat up off, and that's going to hit three times. Not that it really matters. We crit him! <laughs> um, I just need to break the potential Focus Sash. It wasn't Life Orb. And it wasn't um, White Herb either. So, And it didn't seem to be Assault Vest since it didn't live that. So, it was probably Focus Sash. So, he's going to Rock Slide. Rayquaza avoids. Not that it really mattered because uh, Delta Stream was up. The thing we do have the problem with right now is that Kyogre comes in and turns off the Delta Stream. So Rock Slide will become super effective. As long as my 3DS can activate here. So we can pull in Kyogre. I can just Ice Beam with Kyogre and Dragon Ascent with Rayquaza. And we should be fine. We should have the win then. We should have the win then. We should have the win then. Alright. So, pretty nice game one. Like I said, my opponent is a little lower rated. So, I kind of assumed he wasn't going to protect at all, which he didn't. Didn't protect Ferrothorn ever or the Rayquaza, which could have changed this game around if he had protected those Pokemon. But Dragon Ascent almost knocks out the Landorus. Doesn't quite take him, but Kyogre's Ice Beam should. I don't even know if this thing's Choice Scarf. It must be Choice Band, maybe? But Landers does faint to the Ice Beam. Dragon Ascent combo, it should have just fainted to Ice Beam. So not a huge deal. So we get the win and boosting up our ranking a little bit, which is nice. It's always nice to get our ranking up boosted, our, our ranking boost up a little bit. It does open up more potential for more bonus for us, and also higher quality battles. So I do enjoy that. I do enjoy that. So let's see if we can just find a point right away here. Sitting at 1461, I wouldn't mind being back up to at least 1500, because I feel kind of scrubbish right now. I mean, maybe I just belong down here. Maybe I belong under the 1500s. Next week's team probably won't help us either. <laughs> 1700! Oh, lordy, alright. So that's what I'm saying, you don't necessarily, like, you can battle high-rated players, so I don't know why we couldn't find anybody. But we see 
Um, big six with the exclusion of Talonflame for Cresselia. Xerneas, so Talon, Scroudon, Kangaskhan, Cress, and Smeargle. Alright, so we want something to deal with that Smeargle right away. And that's going to be Whimsicott Terrakion. So let's go Whimsicott Terrakion. Let's go Ogre in the back and Rayquaza. We can't really mess around with Steelix here. Oh, we could. We could fairly well mess around with Steelix a little bit. Actually, Steelix wouldn't be terrible here. Do we want to get rid of... Rayquaza and Kyogre are just kind of essential for the Groudon. So... My snake just fell. Um, so if... Uh... We wanted to bring Steelix, we'd have to get rid of Whimsicott Terrakion. But Whimsicott and Terrakion do so good too. I think they'll just do better than Steelix will in general. So let's confirm that. Let's confirm that, shall we? So the problem we have to worry about right now is... Does he lead Smeargle Xerneas? Cresselia Kangama, which is Kangaskhan in German. Press Kang. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna try and taunt the Cresselia and then close combat the Kangaskhan. Cause Kangaskhan's gonna fake out one of my two Pokemon. And I wanna have the uh, one up on whatever he doesn't fake out. So as long as he's not mental herb Cress, I think Cress is starting to run a lot more citrus berry. He's gonna fake out the Whimsicott, okay. So he's got a dead Kangaskhan on his hands. As long as it's not super bulky. There you go. It's usually a good play to make. Um, to just double attack that turn. Because they expect the Trakion to protect. Because they expect you to expect them to fake that out. Because it's the highest threat. He's actually got an Icy Wind with the Cresselia. Which isn't great. But what I can do on the following turn here, because usually, yeah, Crest is typically a running Thunder Wave Icy Wind now instead of Trick Room. A little more reliable. And Xerneas is going to come out. God dang it. Because I was going to protect Tailwind this turn, but now that there's a Xerneas, it's going to try and Geomancy. I could try and taunt it, but I'm not going to be fast enough. So I'm going to Tailwind and Rock Slide here. So we get the Tailwind up. And Xerneas goes for that Geomancy, yep. Yep, yep. Unfortunate. Unfortunate indeed. Because I don't have extreme speed on my need. Rickway, so that is. Sight. Oh, that might knock me out, too. Yep. Dang it. Um, this does mean my Kyogre's at plus two, and so is my Rayquaza, so I could actually try and Dragon Ascent this Xerneas. Uh, do I need Rayquaza for anything else, though? Not really. I'm gonna bring in Rayquaza. I kind of wish I had Encore in this Whimsicott now, because I could Encore the Xerneas this turn. <coughs> oh god, excuse me. Um... I'm going to try and haunt the Cresselia again, and I'm going to Mega Evolve and Dragon Ascent into the Xerneas. <clears throat> he could fairly well protect Xerneas and Icy Wind here, um, but I had to take the risk of being able to get the hit off on Xerneas, so. So, so. Yep. All we can hope for now is the miss from Cress. Or if it was going for a Thunder Wave over Icy Wind. Goes for Psychic to knock out Whimsicott, though. Okay, I see you, big doggy. But now, um... Because what he can do here is just bring in, uh... Groudon? Why did I say it like that? Groudon to win the Weather War. Um, so I'm going to expect that and go for Ice Beam. And we're going to double into Xerneas here. We are going to double into Xerneas here. So I'm assuming his last Pokemon's Groudon. So let's Ice Beam. Actually. 
my opponent might. I'm gonna muddy water. Just to try and call him on it. So, and then Dragon Ascent. Yep, he withdraws. Dang it, I should have ice beamed. I knew I should have ice beamed. But we, we we're so far behind at this point, we kind of had to try and make plays to be able to bring it back. So he does bring in the Groudon, unfortunately. And that's probably going to spell the end for our poor little squaw. Our squad. I mean, if we had Steelix, we could have gyroballed this Xerneas to hell. So we do outspeed with Rayquaza, and I'm assuming we outspeed Kyogre too, so let's see how much this Dragon Sense able to do. If it's a bulkier Xerneas... Damn it! With a critical hit! Kyo... <sighs> oh, Xerneas does go first anyway. So it didn't, it didn't really matter. It didn't matter in the long run. It does get a critical hit on Kyogre too. So if I had Ice Beamed, we would have knocked out the Xerneas, but then he would have had uh, Groudon Kyogre anyway, so it's not a huge deal. It's not a huge deal. We still would have lost. It's rather unfortunate. How could we have played this differently? I don't know that we really could have. Um, yeah, there really wasn't anything that I could do that. Ice, Icy one and Crest Turn one was really good. Um... Had we rock slid and flinched was really the only way we could do it, so... And that's not a play I would have made at any point that early in the game, so... You know, 1700 rated player for a reason, so... Thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this team once again, be sure to hit that like button. Also, if you guys didn't uh, pick up your Minnesota Wild Charge shirt yet, link will be in the description below. Be sure to go check that out. Our first uh, week battle will be coming out this Friday, so be sure... To Go and get those so you can support the Minnesota Wild Charge. And thank you guys so much for joining me. We'll see you next time. Stay sharp, everyone.